What's up, selectors? It's Select Screen here, back with another MK11 video. Something a little bit different, though, on this one. Uh, we are calling this the After Aftermath Awards. Basically, voting session is what we're going to do here. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this. Uh, got this idea very quickly because they just posted this right over here on uh, on Twitter. Make sure to go follow us, guys, on Twitter, and you can easily get there. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, uh, Twitter, again, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at linktr.ee forward slash select screen or at 5-E-L-E-C-T-5-C-R-E-E-N. Guys, we're also on the Cash App as well if you want to help support the stream. We appreciate all of our new selectors, which you're going to be seeing scroll at the top. Uh, so super appreciate each and every one of you for that. All right, I'm ready. You're ready. Let's go. All right. All right. So you can see uh, to my left here that this tweet went out today from Netherrealm Studios or Netherrealm Studios or NRS, however you want to say it. Uh, and they are asking, uh, very simply, they're saying, our characters are getting beat to a pulp. So let's give them some awards this season for their trouble. So we're gonna go through this. The Aftermath Award, you guys are gonna vote with me and we're gonna kind of jump back and forth uh, between the game and this award sheet and give out some awards, man. I love doing award shows, uh, giving out who we think is the best. Uh, I've always planned on this channel to eventually get to some countdowns eventually. We will get there one day. But uh, that is the plan for today. We'll also be streaming a little bit later today. Uh, normally we stream about 8 p.m. Um, we'll probably end up doing NBA 2K tonight, all right? So definitely be on the lookout for that. So with that, we're playing on PS5. Um, this is the updated version of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 11, which is super dope. So let's get that started. I have a full screen anymore. Oh, we got my reaction cam. Yeah, we don't have a full screen oh, anymore. So we'll stay in the Patreon. How about that? All right. So the first thing that we're looking at here is um, guess uh, goes to the character with the fan favorite intro animation. Please include a character and the name of their intro you wish to vote for. So that's pretty dope. I'm even gonna zoom this in just one more for you guys so you can super see it. How's that? There we go. All right. So turning that off, we already have the skin pack. Uh, best intro animation. I think if we go to, what's the best way to do this? Maybe customize? We'll go to characters. All right, the best intros that come to mind. Um, hmm, that come to mind. Let's take a look at some of noobs. special kind of neat yeah good use of the character there definitely liking that one I 
That one has some potential. Um, I'm thinking Jade probably has a pretty dope one. Amazing. I mean, they're cool. How about, uh, how about Katana? Ah. Those are all okay, but I think this one's pretty dope. Using the extra characters. Just a simple choose the queen. That's that one's pretty dope. So we'll put that one up there. I feel like Reigns is pretty sweet. I do remember his. His was kind of memorable. Right into his pose. That's pretty pretty sweet. Coming out of the water realm. On that one but overall I like reigns probably the best um, maybe we could throw in there uh, about Quartal Quartal's got some pretty cool stuff too as far as intros they really I feel like they put some work into Quartal to make him kind of a mainstay now okay Dope animation there. There's always a weapon one. I haven't seen this one yet. I know this is a victory, but... Alright, and... Anybody else who's got a crazy... We'll check out Cabals, too, just to be safe. Uh, not as flashy as I'd like. I think we got a winner, guys. I think we got a winner in uh, in rain. Should we check the Joker? Why not? <laughs> That's pretty dope. Quick reference there. Yeah, I, I think I gotta go with rain. I gotta go with rain on this one. Um, I can't think of another one that really, really blew me away. You know what I mean? I know, I know. Uh, Frost had a pretty cool one where her head kind of drops in. That's pretty sweet. Oh, guys. That one's dope. Yeah, I gotta go with this one, man. I mean, high fidelity. Icy glance. So let's go back. We're gonna go with... Uh, with that one. Rain's a close number two, but hers was just, that really kind of defined the character. 
Icy Glance by Frost. Very well done. Very well done. Hype Train goes to the character who caused the most hype for their arrival onto the Mortal Kombat 11 roster. I think we can all agree here. This is going to Melina. <laughs> New Play Bot, Shang Tsung, both a lot of hype there. I'd even be willing to talk about Shang Tsung um, because of, I always butcher his name, Kerry Tagawa, I think is how you say his name. Probably butchered that, sorry, but Shang Tsung's pretty hyped. It was pretty hyped, man, once we saw that. Um, but Melina, I think Melina was teased the best. Favorite newcomer goes, let's see, Collector, Gearus, Sentry, or Chronica. I really liked Gearus, man. I think they can, they need to bring him back, give him a second try. Kind of like Cordal, you know, cool design. Um, I would like to see him be a little bit faster. Um, I know he's a big guy, but the big black guys, it's always a big black guy. You know what I mean? I'd like him to be, he, he's cool. He's very cool. He's got a lot of potential. So I want to see more of him. Best victory animation. Now this is going to be a little tougher. We might go through a couple of these too. We're already here on her. We might as well. I don't know. I might go go with hers too. That one. That one is dope. They put work in on Frost, man. I really like the ice skating thing because it works with her friendship. Unabeam! So we'll talk about Frost again. Um, I think we got to look at Shang Tsung. Great lighting there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It has begun, though. Come on now. Done. We got a winner. We got a winner. Yeah, I, I think we got a winner there. Um, just to... Just to look. I actually don't want to do this on his skin though. Just. Let's do this right. He looks great. I just, that, that, uh, outro doesn't do it for me. I gotta say, I gotta say, Scorpions is worth mentioning. We'll take a look at hers. I liked her intro too, I didn't show it. And. And when I say and, these are not bad intros at all. We're just talking about the best. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hers didn't, didn't do anything. Anything crazy. 
but I, I think we got to look at we got to look at rain again. They did work here. That one, that's that's dope. Another good one. Rain's not even one of my favorite characters, but they've really done such a great job. I like that one too. Different riff there. I'm, I'm going with either this one or, or Shang Tsung, with the exception of a close number three. And because this is Mortal Kombat here. Peep game, y'all. That's terrifying. problem with with Melina and her look is she's never been known for the tongue and neither is Baraka <laughs> my wife is having troubles with the car outside as you guys can hear <laughs> oh man so all smiles, honorable mention, most definitely. Um, I think Reigns is pretty good, but you can't, 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 can't go wrong with Mr. Shang on this. I mean, what more do you want? Your soul. Put it back here. Your soul is mine. Definitely gets the award for this one. By Mr. Shang. I never spell his name right. How do you spell his name? S H A N G T S U N G. Shang Tsung. Or as I called him as a kid, Shang to Shang. <laughs> Which characters? Let's see. Uh, the Broken Controller Award goes to the character fans believe to be the most rage inducing. Please name the character you wish to vote for. Oh my goodness. By far, the most rage inducing character is Aaron Black. I can't stand this character. Get rid of him. <laughs> and he spells his name weird too, right? E R R O N. E R O N Black. Just don't like this character. I really wish they'd get rid of him. Mix Upologist. Uh, this is uh, goes to the character fans believe to be the best at mix up. Please name a character you wish to vote for. Mix-ups here. Um, you know, I really like Liu Kang's mix-ups. Uh, I really like Baraka in this too, because I feel like Baraka has a lot of highs and lows. Um, and I like Jax. Um, So I think I think we're gonna go with Baraka on this one. I, I like the way he mixed up projectiles. He could fight up close. Baraka, for sure. Baraka, go even closer. We're just getting closer and closer. All right, this award goes to the character fans believe to have the most difficult fatality 
most difficult fatality. Hmm. Those aren't hard at all. Uh, let's go with... What does Garrus look like? Anything with an up in it always messes me up. Those aren't bad. Um, Scarlets weren't wonderful. I also think she has the worst fatality. Well, I guess not. I guess that wasn't too bad. Hmm. Collector, maybe? Don't love these. Don't love these at all. Yeah. Just don't like these at all. Let's go with the collect. I think that's fair. I'm sure it's spelled collector, but with a K, right? Yes, sir, it is. K O L L E C T O R. Collector for that one. Not safe for work. Goes to the character fans believe to have the most gruesome fatality. Please name the character you wish to vote for. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that my man Shang Tsung, as gross as Molinas are, Molinas are gross. Um, spawns aren't pleasant. Barakas aren't wonderful either when he bites into everything. Um... Uh, no. I don't know. This is tough, guys. This is tough. Because Devorah's new species was disgusting. I even did a clip on that one. That was pretty gross. But then Shang Tsung's thing where the, the minions came out that messed me up too. The condemned one. Um, we gave Shang one. I don't like voting for Devorah because I don't like her as a character either. But we're going to go with Devorah. D apostrophe, D apostrophe, V apostrophe, no, O R A H, O R A H, there it is, Devora. What was the name of that one, too? No, that's all right. They all know. <laughs> They're already dead. Goes to the fan favorite brutality. Please name a character and brutality you wish to vote for. Now, I immediately have not done a ton of brutalities with every character. Um, Like, I haven't done any Rambo ones yet. I haven't done a Rain one yet. I'm trying to think of Kano's. I think my favorite one is just being able to uppercut their head off. I wish it would show it to me. Head case. 
You know which one I really like? Just because it's a throwback. Actually, what about Jax? Slow clap. We're gonna go with Melina on this one. I really like the one where she eats the nails and spits it back at you. Man eater. Nail shooter. Yeah, for sure. You guys feel free to disagree with me in the comments on these, all right? But Lena, nail shooter for sure. All right, uh, let's see. BFF goes to your favorite friendship. Please name the character you wish to vote for. We did a breakdown of this on our channel. Um, make sure to go check out our favorite friendships. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, I know which one it is. I know which one it is. And we got to go with Jax. Jax playing that saxophone. The Jax sax. Come on. We got to go with Jax on this. Got to go with Jax. I mean, it went viral, right? Jax for sure. Greetings from goes to fan favorite stage. Please name the stage you wish to vote for. Character customer. There's some really good stages in this game, and there are some that I'm just like, man, I wish there was more. Sub Zero. Jax. And uh, like the Bone Temple, I wasn't. Loving that soul chamber. Deadpool was really cool this time. Very cool. I really liked the tournament. And I really liked the retro cave. Um Those were really neat. They might be kind of a cop out though. Cause that's like saying your favorite Mortal Kombat stages are all the old Mortal Kombat stages. So I'm gonna go with the Cyber Lin Kuei assembly. I wish it had a stage fatality, but I really like that stage. I think that's that's pretty cool. The the animation in that one was really really neat. When it was first announced, I got pretty hyped for it. So we'll go with that one. Cyber Lin Kuei Assembly, but it's probably one of the retro stages. Uh, Flash Dance goes to the character fans believe to have the most flashy, swaggy moveset. Name the character you wish to vote for. Swags, huh? Swag, swag, swag. Um, is it just combos? Just moveset in general. I gotta go with Kung Lao. Kung Lao, if you can pull it off, Kung Lao has some dope stuff. And it's been like that since MK9. He's really, really just got some flashy, cool stuff that you can do. Very good. Well done, Kung Lao. You beat Liu Kang at something finally. Bushin, button a mash royalty goes to the character fans believe is ideal to be a button masher. Button masher. Man, I gotta go back with Baraka because to do his <laughs> enhanced moves, you just mash buttons. <laughs> so we'll we'll definitely go with Baraka on that one. Congratulations, Baraka. Don't eat everything, please. D A R A K A. Baraka. 
Precision Master goes to the character fans believe need the most precise gameplay. Um, that for sure for me is Fujin. I just can't get some of his moves to come out. <laughs> so I'm definitely going with Fujin on that one. It was just too technical, I think, for me. I like technical, but it got a little crazy with Fujin. Let's see, Edenian Pride goes to the fan favorite Edenian to join the Mortal Kombat 11 roster. This, listen, every time. Jade needs to be in every single game going forward. I love Jade. I think she is an awesome character. And the face model, the whole everything on that was great. Rain is dope, and I gotta spend more time with him. Uh, Sindel, uh, good strides with her on this one. Katana is Katana. I'm going with Jade on that one. Uh, greatest smart behind goes to the character who had the cr uh, best quickest funnest comebacks of one-liners um spawn had some good ones moraine and eh. the joker he really didn't you gotta go with johnny here can go with other but i think johnny nailed that biggest punching bag goes to the character fans believe was bodied the hardest over the past two years Man. Man, who who is the character everyone likes to beat up? I know online everybody likes to beat up Sonya. <laughs> um because they just don't like Rhonda. And that that is what it is. Uh it's not Rhonda. This character does not look bad. Let's just get that out of the way. Rhonda looks fine. Uh my favorite person to beat up in this game will always be Kano. Kano is just fun to hit. I don't know why, but we're going with Kano. Oh, it, now they've got him laid out here. Cordal. Devora. I don't like seeing her. Sub, Sub Zero, Bo. Take Sub Zero out of there. Come on now. I'm going with Kano. Everybody likes to beat up Kano. Best death of the game goes to the character who received the fan favorite death sequence in story mode. Spoilers. Hmm. Who died? Well. Well. Spoilers. But that was that was pretty intense. That was pretty intense. This is the end. Goes to the character who received the most satisfying tower ending. Okay, again, guys, here spoilers. Um, I'm gonna jump into a few of these because it's been a minute, and I haven't done all of them yet. Uh, for the newer characters, but I will say Molina's really surprised me. Character. Collection character. And by um, and endings. Oh, hands down. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power to fix history. Reading warns me I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera. Yep, Jax. For sure. I remember that one vividly. That was, the way that went down was pretty, they, they had an opportunity there and they used it very, very well. That was very, very cool. Definitely Jax. Very well done. Favorite guest character, the Terminator, the Joker, Spawn, Robocop, or Rambo? Hmm. I I didn't I didn't love this go round. Um I get it it was 80s action stars. My favorite 80s action star is Jean-Claude Van Damme. But what do you get? Do you get him from from Bloodsport? 
I mean, Mortal Kombat started out as a Bloodsport game. Um, Spawn was cool. Spawn was very cool. I felt like Spawn fit in really well. But as far as playing as a character, I, I'm going to go with Rambo. I think Rambo, his moveset is fun to play as. So between the two, I, I think we're going to go with Spawn. But honorable mention right there is Rambo. Very, very well. Be a female. Tough, man. Very, very tough. Um, my favorite female in here is Melina. Um, but I felt like Jackie made a lot of strides. Jackie was done very well this time. I want to see more of Jackie. I thought Frost came up really well. Um, Cassie Cage has fallen flat. I think this is strike two for her. For me, uh, Devora, obviously, I can't stand. Sonya regressed a little bit just in her moveset. Uh, Chronica was neat. Sindel was me. Man, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys again. Jade, Jade was so dope in this game. <laughs> I just, Jade was awesome. Guy of the hour. Um, my boy doesn't get enough credit. We're going with Sub Zero. I didn't love his first design with the, with the bowl cap. I don't like that. But here we go, best all around goes to the fan favorite character in Mortal Kombat 11. Um, and this is where it's gonna get weird because I just said Sub-Zero is my favorite character, even in this game, but he does not have the ice clone. And that's like saying Scorpion doesn't have his spear throw. It just, yes, there were alternatives, and there's ways to kind of get the same thing, but it wasn't the same. So I'm mixing Sub-Zero. Um, let's look back at the characters. Character. Okay, that's character art. Character. Um, again, Shang Tsung, one of the dopest in the game. Uh, like I said, Frost came up. Um, Night Wolf, but Night Wolf didn't do anything new. I think Jax, for me, really took a step up in this game. Uh, from his look, I mean, he's great character model. His fighting style, he's got all of the classic moves while still feeling fresh. Again, I would throw Jackie in there as a character, as a whole. She did really well. Jade. Um, Jade was awesome. As I, I keep saying. Cordal. Really liked Cordal this time. I like the cat thing. Um, Kano was not bad. I feel like Noob took a step back. He was one of my mains in 9. And I don't know. It just didn't come off all that great. So if I had to nail it down here, it's really down to Jax, possibly a rain, but it's too early to tell. I'm eliminating Sub-Zero just because he is my favorite character. Anybody else? I think Baraka too, I really liked Baraka. But I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with Jax. I think I'm gonna go with Jax is my favorite character in Mortal Kombat 11. You probably won't get a lot of votes. But I really did like him. He did a great job. Submit this thing in here. Can we do best victory? We did best victory. It was uh your soul's mine. So mine. See if I can spell it right. By Shang. If I can type. Shang. To Sung. And there we have it, guys. 
we won't recap it because you just watched the whole video. If you stayed with me for these last 40 minutes as we filled out a form, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Make sure to drop a like, a share. It helps your boy out. Uh, we got plenty more of Mortal Kombat 11 coming up, guys. Again, make sure to hit us up down below here, link tr.ee forward slash select screen. Man, this was another cool, cool video. Guys, remember to choose your destiny. My name's Select Screen, and I'm out.